the movies that really made my week and has kept me fascinated and thinking throughout the week is a movie called Robots. It's an awesome movie that centers on an advancement, fast advancement of America. And the movie tends to bring us to 2032, where America has finally completed the war between them and Mexico and has sent those has sent about 11 million immigrants away and now has replaced them with robots robots who can do everything that those immigrants have ever done and have paid no wages so different people got different perspective from the the replacement with these robots and somebody like charles charles who was stirred by jack white's hall and shelling woodley who stares as elena two lazy americans in the movie two lazy americans who really thought about otherwise made a double of themselves to actually assist them in their different you know work and in their different home domestic chores the rule in america in the movie forbids any individual from having a double of themselves or even possessing a robot for his own personal use but Elena and Charles did otherwise. They made double of themselves, named it E2 and C2 respectively. So these two robots were just out there doing the work that Charles and Elena should have been doing. Something like going to do their official work, going for shopping, meeting, like turning up for meetings and dates that they should have done. They are too just very lazy to do all this. Incidentally, the two clone came across each other in one of the sport skating, snow skating activities they were out there doing. So they, you know, bonded up, got back home, reported to their original owners about, you know, the meeting up and a whole lot of other things followed. But at the end, these two clone had intimacy, felt love, and went into default. They started disobeying, they started feeling what human beings can now feel. They started enjoying the lives that human beings are out there to enjoy and they decided to look at moving to Mexico and start a new life for themselves. So it being a crime, Charles and Elena couldn't come outside because it's it's going to be like, you know, there are camera CCTV to all over America, so these things are going to really detect doubles you understand seeing them in different places at the same time would be a crime for themselves so they have to like find a way to cover up this crime and you know get down these two doubles the doubles went ahead met the families of the original owner prepared for a wedding so it was on the course of that wedding that they were captured by elena and charles they took them back them to the manufacturer to reset them but the manufacturer at the end gave them vivid instruction that these things can actually not be reset. They are already disobedient to that. Disobedient. The only solution for them is for them to be destroyed. But these doubles are becoming smart and intelligent. So at the end of the day, everything went awesome for the doubles and they eloped to Mexico. But before they eloped, they had a reconciliation with Charles and Elena. So they decided to elope. And with the detections on the border, Charles can't also move out of America. Because those doubles have already taken the name as Charles and Elena and they moved out of America. I hope you get what I'm saying. This movie is awesome to watch. But I feel it's not for people below the age of 18 because it has it contains nudity foul language and a whole lot of other distorting actions in the movie so make sure you get to this movie it's really awesome for you to watch it's fictional but you know just like any other movie that has disparities that has faults or half flaws this movie actually the camera focus is always high it's hard for you to see the full the full picture of those acting on any of the scenes it's just a few scenes that you can see the full fittings the camera focus was always high like up you know there wasn't time to bring a full 
space where these scenes are being acted so i feel it should be corrected there are times you should you know give us the full view of what's happening another thought is that this robot the robot that the government actually employed to do replace the immigrant we are over we're not acting as robots to be honest they were more like human beings they were acting like human beings their movements their actions we are more of like human beings it's not robotic you get so it doesn't actually show that robotic nature they really want to you know project to the viewers you understand so it's a very very big thing that in their next movie they should correct or anybody who wants to do robotic movies another thing is the emotions these robots we are feeling like the doubles of uh, elena and charles they were feeling human like human like emotions and it was over the clue like it was over the average what normal robot or normal double should feel you you understand it's over so they should be kind of average because you cannot be more emotional than your owner you can't it's it's not possible even if it's cloned you made with the same gene with the, the same kind of sequence so you shouldn't feel more than you're just a replica but this we are just feeling more working more on the whole it's really funny to be honest the other thought i had with this movie is the prosthetics the maker of the prosthetic actually did tried in his you know in his carvings and in his craft but the thing there is that this prosthetics uh, prosthetics we are really pathetic it didn't get that uh, robotic feeling that robotic image that it should have given and more so sometimes you get to see those wearing this prosthetic you see the eyes turning you know you see them lively you see that it's really human beings that are wearing this uh, prosthetic so you should know that a lot needs to be corrected about this it should exhibit that more of a uh, you know a uh, robotic nature makers of this pro prosthetics should have a very good fittings a max a prosthetic that when you wear it it should always show it shouldn't show your eyes but you can see through it a see through prosthetic is better these few things i really think that this movie personally is very awesome to watch the graphics were very nice the shootings the settings it was actually shot in Mexico, and you know Mexico had good landscape and beautiful tours and places you can actually visit and enjoy yourself so it's it's an awesome movie that is probably strictly made for those who are above 18 it's rated 18 for me you understand so <clears throat> the graphics was nice the the you know the audio was nice everything there was really really nice you understand it's a nice movie for you to enjoy and for me i rate this movie at 7 over 10 because it's awesome but due to some of these negatives i've actually mentioned and that's why it's at seven the director did an awesome work for me it's really awesome i still remain john paul and this is nice social media don't forget to subscribe like and share this video for others to know that this movie is out there for you to watch and always come back to watch my subsequent reviews that I will be doing. My next review will be on George Foreman. Big George Foreman. It's a recent released movie as well. You understand? So be ready for it and I'll be dropping it tomorrow. So don't fail to watch this movie. Thank you for always being here with me. Thank you for always supporting me. And I'm so so happy for all you guys have been doing for me. So my regards to everyone. Thank you. I still remain John. Paul, my CCM media is always with you. Thank you.